All right, all welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies. I just thought we'd do a little follow-on video on this Crowley CR200B. Um, had this up and running now for about a week, and I have had no issues or anything to complain of at all whatsoever. Um, I did do a couple of prints just to share with you guys, uh, just to sort of show you the quality of the prints that I have got out of this machine. Also, I just want to run past uh, the update with this machine as well. There is a software firmware update as well, which we'll talk about in this video. Uh, apart from that, it's going to be sort of short and sweet. Don't want to bore you too much. So anyway, we'll just take a look at these prints. I've only done two, but I've done two fair-sized ones. I don't know how well they're going to show up on camera. So first things first, I've printed this Stormtrooper helmet. I mean, this is, was quite a large print. Had this running for nearly a day printing this, and it, like I say, printed it with absolutely no issues at all whatsoever. Phone is always going off. <laughs> Every time I try to record, guarantee the phone will go off. But yeah, as you can see, Stormtrooper helmet come out perfectly. And then next up, printed this little scene. Let's see how close we can get in before my camera goes blurry. Now this wasn't printed all in one go. We started off with the base, then we started off with this sort of water, and then we had this sort of rock and support with the trees, and then the tower was separate at the end, or the lighthouse. And as you can see, my camera would focus. Absolutely perfect print. Really, really good quality, and even down to the bricks in the walls. So that was the two prints that I'd done on this machine. <clears throat> Haven't had any issues at all whatsoever. I did have somebody comment to say that they had a problem with your extruder overheating and causing the film to melt and jam. I must admit, I didn't notice that at all. I had no problems or anything like that whatsoever. And now, obviously, if you are running this machine with the door shut, the lid on, yes, you're going to build up a lot of heat inside, um, and things will probably still get, you know, things are going to heat up. But, I mean, for your filament to heat up that much and melt and jam in the extruder, you're going to be... <laughs> that's going to have to be touching, what, 180, 190 degrees for... PLA to start getting soft enough to melt. Um, if you are finding that happening, I would try turning on the fans in the back to swap some of this hot air out, or I would suggest sending the machine back because for the extruder to be uh, for the sorry the, the uh, yeah extruder to be reaching those sort of temperatures, uh, there's something not right at all there. Um, but apart from that, I haven't had any issues at all whatsoever. I did go ahead, which I'll just show you guys. I have gone ahead and updated the firmware on this printer. So as you can see, I'm now running version 1.0.4. Um, and that is from, you can actually see there, from Corality.com. I will go through the firmware update with you shortly. I'll show you where to get it, which one to download. Um, not a massively difficult job to install. Obviously the firmware itself is, is installed via the SD card that's on the side here. Um, to update the screen though, it's a little bit more of a mission and I'll explain that shortly. All right guys. 
Just getting back to the old uh, Creality CR200B. Now, I just want to quickly talk to you about firmware update. Now, there is actually a firmware update out for this machine. Um, so what you're going to need to do is you head over to Creality.com. Not Creality Official 3D or anything like that. Just straight over to Creality.com and you'll be greeted with the home page. Now, if you click up, go up here to support, you can go to download. And on the left here, you can select your range of printers. So obviously, we are fully enclosed series. And then we are see how see how you've got the CR200B. And then inside here, you have got three lots of firmware. So these two are for if you're getting errors for when, well, you can actually blatantly see here. These are sort of the standard versions, and then this one down the bottom here is the new version, version 1.0.4. So this is the one you want to go ahead and download. So once you've downloaded this file, now inside this file, if I just download it quickly, I haven't really downloaded and updated my machine just to make sure that it all works. So if we open this file, we are greeted with two folders. So obviously this is your hex file. Mine says bin at the moment because I haven't extracted it, but it is actually a hex file. So you just copy this straight onto your SD card, put it into the side of the printer, and it will update. And then obviously the next file is your DW or your DWIN file, which is all your if you look here, which is all your icons for your screen. Now, doing the screen update is a little bit different. Obviously, make sure you've got nothing on your SD card. Okay, then you want to drag and drop this whole folder onto the SD card. Now, to install it is a little bit more of a different story. You're going to need to turn your machine on its side. Underneath there, you'll see a metal plate, and there's two screws. Undo both of those screws, which you can then remove the metal plate. And so you can then get your head in there and see the screen. And on the bottom of the screen, there's a little micro SD card slot. You can then obviously put your SD card slot in, turn the machine back up, fire it up, and that will then install or update your display. So obviously once it's then done, turn the printer off, take your card out, put the bottom back on. And then but apart from that, this is a cracking printer. Really is a cracking machine. I mean, I have read several reviews of people having lots of problems with it, but like I say, I've had no problems at all whatsoever. And mine has been working incredibly well. And I just think it looks amazing. Just all these sort of detailing bits. Just think it really is. Crackingly good machine. Anyway guys, this is only a quick little update video just to let you know about the firmware update and just to show you of course the test prints that I would say have come out incredibly well. So I've had this printer running a week now. I mean, this helmet took only 24 hours just for the helmet. I printed it nice and slow just to make this printer take its time to make sure there was no issues. And there was no issues. Obviously, then printed the stand separately. And straight after that, we then went ahead and printed this model, this scene. Um, this was all printed in PLA, so I wasn't running massively high temperatures. Build plate 60 degrees, uh, nozzle 200 degrees. Did have the top off though, I didn't have the top on at the time when printing with PLA. Um, so I had the top off and just left it to run and printed absolutely fine. So guys, I'm still loving these, this printer. Can't fault it in any way, shape or form. So it gets a big thumbs up for me over here at Beanie's Hobbies. Anyway, that's it for this one. And I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!